grinding and polishing generates large quantities of slurry. Contractors need to find ways to haul away and dispose of properly. Following all the regulations for its proper disposal has been a headache for the polishing contractor until now. Paying for expensive slurry and wastewater disposal and hazardous waste hauling fees can be minimized or even eliminated from your job. Contractors can still meet all the environmental concerns on the job site for compliant disposal while saving you money in the long run. Prior to vacuuming, add two to four ounces of slurry sep flocking agent into your slurry vacuums. Two ounces per 10 gallon is the standard ratio. For high alkalinity slurry, use our pH balancing slurry sep flock. Vacuum as normal until the drum is full. While filling the vacuum, enough time will pass for the product to hydrate and start the separation process. The turbulence of the slurry in the drum will help the mixing agitation of the flock. During the hydration process, the bentonite clay expands and the platelets separate, creating a large surface area. As the platelets magnetically stick to the clay, the water begins to clear and the conglomerate sinks. The polymer wraps the sludge, encapsulating heavy metals in the water. The more the slurry is mixed, the larger the flock grows and the cleaner the water becomes. When the vacuum is full, remove the top and stir to finalize the reaction. Use a paint mixer on a cordless drill or a paint stirring stick. Mixing thoroughly is key to this step. You will see the flock formed in the water and the clarity increase. Allow the water several minutes to settle. It's now time to decant the water off the top. The water can be pumped or vacuumed into a clean water storage tank or directly back into a floor grinder reservoir tank for reuse. This recycled water can be used over and over for grinding the concrete. This process prevents large volume of slurry created needing to be hauled away and disposed of and treated at the end of the project, saving you hazardous waste hauling fees. It is possible to pump almost all the water out of the drum because the slurry will not go back into a cloudy state of suspension if disturbed. The flock will immediately settle again. It is advised to remove as much of the clear water as possible to reduce the amount of slurry dry gelling agent required to solidify the remaining sludge. After decanting, add one to two ounces of gelling agent to the remaining solids. Mix thoroughly and allow time for excess water to be absorbed. After two to three minutes, mix thoroughly and observe if there is any free water remaining. If needed, add an additional small amount to the wet areas and mix. The remaining sludge will be a gelled non-flowing solid. Properly gelled slurry will pass the EPA paint filter test and is compliant for disposal as construction waste, eliminating special handling or dump fees, saving the contractor hundreds in annual disposal fees. The Setco Slurry Set Flocking Agent and Slurry Drying Gelling Agent Two-Step Slurry Management System gives the contractor an economical and environmentally compliant process to dispose of processed water on the job site.